Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful, cloudy, potentially rainy Saturday morning here in Brisbane. We are heading out to the Warwick Polo Cross, and I am super excited because they are the international A-grade games being played this weekend, and they are just incredible. The skill required to play at that kind of level is just amazing. I'm a little disappointed that because of my Barcelona trip, I wasn't able to actually play in these games. Uh, not that I was A grade, I was the bottom of the heap in F grade. Join me as we head out to Warwick on this beautiful Saturday morning. It is insane. There is just like a sea of horse floats in front of me. Check this out. There must be millions of dollars of horse floats, like thousands and thousands of them. I'm here, I'm through the front gate. I've got my wristband. And then my first impression is that this is just slop everywhere. Absolute slop. It's disgusting, actually. The saddest update, it is pouring with rain. I have collected my racket and bag and a set of reins. So even though I have, I'm all the things with absolutely no idea, but at least I'm sorted now and can actually throw the ball. And it stopped raining for the moment, so yay. Making things awfully difficult when the ball's on the ground. And Justin Hay for the number three for Tandy now in possession. Settled things down. Wait for Tandy men to call the shots. Now Matt McCullough says, give it to me. I'm ready to rock and roll on the Bay Pony. Offloads to Justin Hay for... They know what they're doing. They'll keep the ball off the ground and Justin Hafey, he'll flick the pass across to Matt McAllister and he'll bang it home for Tansy for goal number two. That's Matt Brill's ball goes in. It's been for the twos, the three. It's going to be Justin Hafey, the number three for Tansy to come up with plenty of attention from that man in Ray Davis. But he's doing the better, Justin Hafey downfield. He goes now, looks out in front and Matt McAllister's there. He flicks the pass across the quarter line. Matt McAllister puts it between the PVC for goal number five. There's only one goal in it. Six plays five in chucker number two. He'll clean it up, Justin Hafey on the grey pony. Matt McAllister called the shot, the pass across the quarter line, couldn't handle it, whistle. Whistle on, but that'll do us for chucker number two. Aaron Soleno calls the shot, the pass across the quarter line, good take from uh, Aaron Soleno. Gets the way from Greg Davidge up to the PVC, he goes, he puts it between the post, goal time, Tansy, seven by six. <laughs> So this is Victoria versus New South Wales, yep. state team. So we expect something fantastic. In the rain, I want to match up here. Losberg, working down here, looking for Victoria's first goal. Look at the jump to the left, the high one over the top, goal number one, Victoria. Keep it off the turf, we might well, team work, make the plan work, under three to one, the goal one. So it is about, let's see, about five past nine at night, and I have set up the rooftop tent, so check it out. Conditions are less than ideal, and I am sleeping basically in the car park of this showground. It is ridiculously busy. There's about a thousand people here and it's kind of awesome in the environment. And we saw three national games this afternoon and I have had way too many glasses of wine. So I'm gonna keep this really brief. However, my rooftop tent is up. It's super easy to use. It took me about three minutes to do it by myself. We are up again at 6 a.m. ready to make some breakfast and braid tails and plait up ready for the finals. So fingers crossed that we are all good to go for tomorrow and I'll see you then. Good night.
Good morning, everyone. It's rained pretty much all night. Play starts at 7.30, so I am making do this morning, but I've got my juice and I've got some water boiling for a cup of tea and breakfast is ready. Polycross has been canceled today due to the wet fields and it not being safe for the horses and the riders. So makes perfect sense. It's rained a ridiculous amount here over the last few days. Um, but it's a bit of a shame because I actually saw like a tiny piece of blue sky this morning. So that's a bit of a bugger, but um, the damage is already done. So for me, that's all today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. The cart is all packed and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.